Fresh conscripts have arrived. 2v2 on Samoski Winter. Thomas Payne and Reynolds Cahoon playing as uh, Mixed Axis on the left side, and Mr. Master Blaster and Sly... playing as Soviets and U.S. forces on the right. So, Mixed Allies. We've got three commander selections right out of the box. Luftwaffe ground forces and assault support. Mr. Master Blaster and Sly... Uh, shock rifle Sly hasn't quite chosen one yet. Interesting wire. I uh, feel like they're kind of hurting themselves a little with this wire. It kind of limits their own interest infantry movements a, a little through this route, but sure, I guess. SWS moving down here, and we're going to actually have a double stern pile opening from Thomas Payne. Pyos move up into close range on those conscripts, force them to reposition. Take a take a bit of damage, but they get get clear without dropping any uh, squad members. <laughs> he can't make up his mind. <laughs> Didn't want to cross the road, I guess, so he instead Uraz into some green cover here. Stern pioneers close the gap on these suppressed conscripts, and they're going to be forced to retreat through the deep snow. Retreat's uh, good timing on that retreat, though. It's not going to drop any squad members. This squad's going to also be forced to retreat as those Storm Pioneers move into close range. Ooh, shouldn't have entered the building. That's going to possibly cost him that full squad. Barely survives. Barely. Riflemen move up to toss a grenade. Pinned. Storm Pioneers in the retreat path. No chance of escape. I feel like he's suiciding his rifleman here just to try and kill an MG. Jeez, horrible opening engagement for Sly. That was not good. Full rifle squad down, another one forced to retreat. Nothing accomplished except for one machine gun retreating back to base. Man, these Sturm Pioneers are just cleaning up. If the allies don't force that squad to retreat, he's just gonna keep on forcing retreats here. Finally, they get focused down by rifles and conscripts in green cover. These grenadiers are going to get forced away as well. Do drop a couple riflemen before retreating. And this is the only thing the American player has left on the field for now while he waits for fresh forces and reinforcements to come back. So he doesn't have a whole lot to contribute here except for his smoke grenade. Soviet player has two full squads of conscripts available to engage. This squad is half firing at those piles though. He needs to switch targets to these friends. Combat engineers moving up as well. <laughs> Apparently there's a, there's a fortress up here and he has trapped his rear echelon troops between these tank traps and this wire. So they cannot do anything. <laughs> Oops. We've also got Retreat point unlocked right here. Uh, not sure what I think about that placement. That's pretty. That's super aggressive placement. Normally you see it right here, which is a little more safe. A little more safe, honestly. Not that that much better. Putting that right there is going to uh, make this a pretty vulnerable location until either his teammate throws some support down there, or uh, they just will need to be very aggressive. Keep the allies far away from that location. Shock Rifle and Infantry Company. Infantry Company means there's going to be priests on the field. That's going to just get blasted so hard. I don't think I agree with that truck placement against Infantry Company. Oh, wow! Nice mine. Nice mine. Putting a mine right there and wiring off this retreat path gives him a, gives him a squad wipe. That was a good play, although he's 
Gonna Shots immediately lose a full squad of conscripts a few seconds Shots later, Shots kind of. <laughs> Evens the score. Riflemen taking heavy damage in this engagement. Need to retreat. What are they doing? Toss a grenade. Doesn't really do that much. Retreating from deep snow. Stern Pio's in the retreat path. Oh god. There goes another full rifle squad. Terrible opening. For the American player. Soviet player really likes barbed wire. <laughs> he really likes barbed wire. He is putting it everywhere. He is going to draw a whole circle of barbed wire around this victory point, apparently, while he has the opportunity to do so. Pios, apparently trying to wipe that rifle squad, are not going to succeed because there's Maxim and like tons of infantry here. I don't know what he thinks he's accomplishing. Okay, that's a dead Pio squad. So much for those guys. Couple squads here on the battle group headquarters gonna get some healing done and shock troops have been fielded. Not actually that high of a CP game. Seven minutes into the game, we're still at two CPs. Kinda late on the shock troops, but they're hitting the field now. Allies have pretty good map control here in the center. That machine gun's getting forced out easily enough. And uh, if you want to get a priest on the field in a reasonable amount of time, you gotta you gotta be very aggressive and keep your engagements as lethal as possible on both sides, I guess. I mean, obviously, you want to take a ton of losses, but you, uh, you want to get as much XP as you can as quick as you can to get that priest on the field. And if you're very passive, it's probably not gonna... What happened down here? Full shock troop squad just got wiped by Stern Pios. Don't think he was monitoring that engagement. That is a painful loss. That first shock troop squad goes down in its first engagement without ever retreating or gaining veterancy. Not much of a return on that investment. Grenades. Or that machine gun's kind of asking for it in that building. Gonna retreat and get out of there before a grenade brings the whole structure down. <laughs> this barbed wire. He's gonna. He's going all the way. On that barbed wire, getting that munitions under control. <laughs> Completely unopposed, by the way. Axis have not sent a single unit up there to the north to do anything about it. Squad's down here on the victory point, trying to get that under control. That three, I think, right? Three stern pile opening. Is that going to be a fourth one or a third one? I can't remember if squad got wiped. No, that was Pio, so. Three stern pile opening here. Very manpower expensive and does not appear to be all that effective thus far. Grenade gets tossed. Ooh. Answer Shrek snipes another full rifle squad. And he's just gonna keep making more, I guess. His, his army's not looking all that impressive. Then again, his teammates, not that much better. And lost that full shock troop squad. We're gonna see a, okay. Sure, hand a panzer check over to your opponent right next to an SWS half track. That's not good. <laughs> so much for that thing, and that's gonna lay his tier four structure by quite a bit. Nine minutes into the game is exactly when you wanna be throwing that up. In fact, it's super late. He's got 160 fuel in the bank. He's probably gonna have to go straight to the Yag Panzer now. And he lost that full Panzer Shrek. So that's not good. Shock troops taking control of the munitions down there in the south. The lieutenant getting overwhelmed by mass storm pilots should retreat immediately. I don't know why he's sticking around. He's in deep snow. This is already an incredibly late retreat. He just. Okay. Died. Shock troops wipe stern pios, which are also late to retreat. <laughs> and these two squads are going to vault and try to take on that shock troop squad. If they can toss a gr good grenade, they might be able to win this. Otherwise, shock troops should win. I can't imagine why the shock troops would move to longer range. But they're going to win this engagement anyway. Incredibly late retreat on those stern piles. Get wiped. Nice nade from the Folks Grenadiers. Does not get dodged. Shock troops may also get wiped. 
I'm not sure if a single squad is gonna make it home this game. <laughs> Grenade from those riflemen on these stern pioneers forces them to retreat, and fortunately those shock troops get away by a hair. Half track fielded by the Soviet player. Apparently an MG42 was over here for some reason and is dead. The American player has gone captain tier, which is what you generally see with infantry company. Funnel grenade tossed on that position. Feels pretty significant damage. Rifleman in the south trying to take control of that VP. Panzer Shrek destroys the wire. Stern Pioneer is moving into close range. Considering how many Stern Pioneer squads he's lost, he keeps on replacing them. Just these are both fresh Stern Pioneer squads. Seeing the field for the first time, which would explain why his manpower is so low right now. Meanwhile, Reynolds' Cahoon is floating a little bit, although his army isn't a whole lot more impressive. Throws an Opal Blitz on the field, has chosen Assault Support. Try and uh, boost their resource income a little. Probably be better to hide that behind this hedge. That's pretty easy to hunt down with a tank. Whatever. Somehow, the Axis managed to break through the super duper wire fortress up here. Take control of the North VP. Grenade, nice toss. Wipes the squad. We are suffering losses. No dodge. Some pretty passive play here by the Allies in the center, considering the south is completely undefended. This is extraordinarily vulnerable to getting double teamed. Just easily overwhelm that with a combined push by all Allied forces here in the center. Easily wipe this off the map. Especially with half track support for forward reinforcement. Smoke grenade deployed to screen that rifleman squad's soft retreat so he can reinforce out of that half track. That was a nice tactical play. And reinforce there out of the ambulance. Shock troops in green cover will prevent these forces from advancing. If they get into close range, they're gonna get shredded. Why would he move back? What is even the point then? Okay. Never mind. Strafing run pins down a ton of infantry here in the road. The shock troop squad will probably be forced yep, to retreat. Conscripts will come unpinned though. Second strafe pins the infantry down again, but whatever makes no real difference since apparently he doesn't seem to want to push, just kind of dealing a little damage, I guess. Pack howitzer has been fielded by Sly. And this position is super vulnerable to indirect fire, but 15 minutes into the game and nobody's even made a tank, I don't think, of any kind. Two opal blitzes. Casually floating 250, 260 fuel. Allies. Made a half track. I mean, he teched up. Got tier three. Just not making a tank, I guess. Just wanted a half track. American player, especially. Spent all his fuel on something. I don't even know. No idea where the American player's fuel all went. Grenade toss prompts a full retreat from those forces. Pack out a barrage on this position could be devastating. I think. We're on the hawk over here! I'm really confused where the American player's fuel went. It's got 90 less than a Soviet player that went tier 3. 
it can't just be the purchase of a captain and major. I guess it, I guess that's I guess that's kind of a lot. 170 people. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Master Blaster calls in a KV-8. Oh, and he got a lieutenant as well. Okay, so that's... Alright, that makes more sense. Rifle grenade does dodge it. Two Panzer IVs just got queued up here by Reynolds Cahoon. If I was floating that much fuel, I think I would just go straight to tier four. So I didn't want Panzer IVs instead. I think Panthers would, Panthers would serve a little bit better against uh, KV-8 and U.S. forces. Let's we'll see if he can make those Panzer IVs work. Pioneer squad just got burned to death. He's just sitting here in a nice, tight little clump for that KVA to roast. Send the area artillery to sweeten the deal. Oh my god. So much manpower lost. KVA should probably disengage, though. I don't think it's going to win this. Not if it doesn't go for some miracle crush maneuvers. Not disengaging, he's just going to lose it. Oh, there you go. Still pretty good value, to be honest. Only three squads left. I don't even know how much manpower damage that just inflicted. Panzer IV moves down to support just in time. <laughs> For that KV-8 to already be dead, of course. That pack howitzer should really be bombarding this position this whole time. I can't believe it only has two kills. I know there's a house in the way, but a capture point is being overrun. I really think he should he could have dealt a lot of damage to this position. Priest, however, is on the field and probably be able to inflict a lot of damage here. I don't know where that barrage is centered, but it appears to be like over here on the ice instead of on the battle. So oh nope, just a lot of scatter. Needs to move that into slightly closer range to minimize that. But he will have to be mindful of that Panzer IV. There is a shock troop squad with Panzer Shrek available to screen a, a little. Gets one shot off. Apparently a squad got wiped by that priest. Got one kill. I don't know what that one kill was. He's talking about a medic. I think that counts as a squad wipe. If you kill a medic and the priest will be like, I don't neutralized. Good job. You committed a war crime. We're all really impressed. Maxim in this building is going to get forced out by by that Panzer IV. Field gun trying to screen, taking heavy damage on that Panzer IV. Needs to hide behind this house, but it's, uh, it's in a little danger. Should probably try and disengage. House comes down, Maxim will get out safely. Sets up outside the building to fire on those Folks Grenadiers. Panzer IV has pulled to a safe location, and the second Panzer IV, I think, uh, I don't know when that hit the field. Probably just now. Making its way to up to the front line. To try and support up here in the north. While this one receives repairs here in the south. Over Panda West player has 360 fuel. No sign of getting anything. <laughs> I don't know why he has not teched up. No tier 4. Oh, he hasn't teched up because he keeps on letting his SWS half-tracks die. <laughs> Well, he really needs to, uh, 19 minutes into the game, he's only getting his second tech structure now. Really needs to get those, <laughs> get those built so he can spend his fuel. Stuck on a tree here in the south. Panzer IV doing some work here in the north. Looks like it maybe just disengaged for no reason. I don't know what scared it away. There is an AT gun in that general area. I guess the captain. Taking a bit of damage on that squad though. Riflemen here in the north have been equipped with LMGs. Just 
squads. Oh, these two tanks. That's a third Panzer IV. Two Panzer IVs available to engage here in the north. Gonna wipe that squad. There it goes. This one's about to be fully repaired. Tier 4 done. Maybe he'll get a tank. Guess not. I guess he's gonna wait to go straight for King Tiger. Which probably makes sense to do with 300 fuel in the bank. Priest bombarding this area. Should probably move that Folks Grenadier squad. Pioneer's gonna wipe out all team weapons defending the south since they're pretty much completely unprotected. KV-8 moving to try and counter now, but there's still a Panzer IV available down here to push that away. Meanwhile, these two Panzer IVs are just kind of sort of hanging out in the middle. Field gun gets recruited to try and kill that. Panzer IV is just, I don't even know what. <laughs> there it goes. Field gun is fleeing rather than firing at an almost dead tank. Panzer four shots are all bouncing, even on the rear armor of that KV-8. Three times in a row, wow. That poor Panzer four just can't seal the deal on this thing. Four times in a row, wow, really? That's the rear armor of a KV-8, finally. KV-8 goes down. It's taking heavy damage from that stolen Panzer Shrek though, and anti-tank rifle grenades have Done a lot of damage, and that Panzer IV is destroyed. <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty bad luck. During that engagement. Point, I think four in a row, point blank shots from Panzer IV. I think the first one might have been on the frontal armor, but all the rest... ...or not. Priest bombarding this position. Jackson moving up into an extraordinarily dangerous location. Dies. Ooh, that priest hit though. That just killed so much. <laughs> Wipes both Storm Pio squads. That pack howitzer's doing work on that clump of units as well. Oh god. And there go all of his units. This is just sitting here. Still hasn't built his fourth tier and is about to slide up to 400 fuel. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Still 200 victory points in the bank for the Axis. 400 left for the Allies. Game shows no sign of ending anytime soon. If nobody triple caps anybody else, North is completely undefended. These re <laughs> these re troops are still stuck. <laughs> Which means the Axis have never even tried to take these territories, by the way. Just got a report of an infantry unit being wiped out. Field gun moves up to take out the tier 4 structure. It's been brought extremely low. One more pack houser or priest barrage will probably finish the job. Panzer IV is making a big push here into the American defensive position. They're taking a little bit of light damage from the captain's bazookas. They really need to prioritize that squad. He's kind of stuck in the deep snow, but he's dealing pretty significant damage to these Panzer IVs. They really need to focus on wiping him first. 
Third Panzer IV available down here is taking heavy damage from a field gun, but it gets cleared out by those Vet 5 uh, folks grenadiers. But it looks like the captain with his bazookas was sufficient to wipe that wipe out that uh, Panzer IV. These grenadiers are gonna die if they don't retreat. <laughs> they are accomplishing nothing. There they go. Third opal blitz on the field, and I think he's just gonna keep making Panzer IVs for the entire rest of the game. He's got tigers. He's got tigers and like a zillion fuel caches. He's got 47 fuel coming in. Like, we have a new make tigers. <laughs> Not that I don't love some good Panzer IV action. I'm just, just pointing out that they haven't been that effective, really. Also, we, we might want to get this battle group headquarters repaired, but we might also want to get out of this cruise barrage. Two squads making their way towards the strategic point here in the south. Get swiped by a grand blob. Ambulance is about to go down. Poof. It's dead. This position is asking for one shot from anything to kill everything. <laughs> Priest will be available to fire again soon. Pack Howitzer manages to convince this uh, force to retreat, and a Jackson? Jackson deals heavy damage to the Panzer IV there. Field gun finishes it off. Which means there are two Panzer IVs now on the field. This one in the base, this one kind of hanging out here in the south. Once this battle group headquarters is destroyed, I don't, I don't really see the Axis holding on much longer. He also just stopped repairing. And he's given up on the on being able to save that, which he was probably right to do, since I don't think there's gonna be any saving it. Panzer IV moves up to engage these riflemen here. Packhauser finishes off the battle group headquarters. Anti tank rifle grenade damages the engine of that Panzer IV, which is now going to die, pretty much guaranteed. It's not even not even trying to get away. He's still upgrading it with this machine gun, though. Apparently, those riflemen tossed frag grenades, and the shock troops also tossed a frag grenade to try to finish off that Panzer IV that was already guaranteed to die. That was a waste of munitions. <laughs> this Panzer IV is flanking around here behind to take out some stuff. This Jackson is just going to continue being extremely devastating if nothing tries to kill it. <laughs> abandoned. Okay. <laughs> now there's an abandoned Panzer IV right there. And a strafing run is, is being called. Ooh, well, can that kill a Panzer IV? Maybe. If that kills that Panzer IV, that would be good. That was either a brilliant play or pointless. I, I'm curious to see what the plane has not fired yet. Oh, it fired like way down here at some random thing. Just. Driving a tank around. Driving two tanks around. There's also two riflemen right here. <laughs> Infantry pins some stuff. Plane crashes over there. Literally nothing else happening. I guess there's a battle group headquarters down here now. 
Slightly more defensive positioning, but it'll still get blasted to death by this priest. Packhauser is dead, maybe? Yeah, Packhauser's dead. I don't... I guess the... Yeah, the Panzer IV decrewed it on the, uh... On that suicidal charge. I wonder if the Overcoming West player is planning on spending his 500 fuel this game. <laughs> I wonder if... If he was gonna make a tank, but just... Life just got in the way. Just... Whatever, Red Wings, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> what else is there to say about this game? No new KV-8 on the field, making its way towards the south. Wow, look at that smoke graphic. Did you see that? That was like crazy. It's kind of like how when you shoot water out of a hose at the right angle, you see a rainbow. That was like a smoke rainbow. Stolen, or no, Panzer Forger. Where is the stolen P4? There it is. Has not evacuated with his rifleman. Just, just hanging out in that P4 with that squad of riflemen. I'm sure they weren't. They didn't have anything useful to contribute to this battlefield anyway. This is uh, the worst idea imaginable. There is still a priest on the field. <laughs> so maybe don't stand in. That tight of a clump. MG34 moving up. Right next to some shock troops. Leads the charge with the MG34, then falls up, follows up with infantry. Which is um generally not recommended. Nice tight Sturm Pioneer clump in front of a KV-8. Panzer Shrix moving up to engage. Similarly clumped. Just waiting for that priest to nail anything, although he hasn't decided he, he wants to fire that yet. Looks like those Panzer Shrix are going to kill that KV-8, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Just the lack of enthusiasm in this engagement by everybody involved is really... <laughs> Really quite impressive. There it is. Creeping barrage on, uh, on on something. Where did he fire that? I don't even know. Ooh, nice. Beautiful creeping barrage. I guess. I'm not sure how he oriented that, but... Pretty solid. Pretty solid hit by the priest. Forces a retreat from those two uh, folks from your squads. Gonna see some VP harassment up here in the north. The Pios. Two pins of fours are apparently sitting here on the road. And, uh, okay, there's, they're dead. <laughs> Lieutenant is moving up to take control of the South VP, and there are, is Panzer IV available here? Rifle squad ready for action. These forces are all holding still. Thomas Payne makes his way to 600 fuel. Maybe he thinks that this is like your score. It's like points, and the higher you go, the better. This blob of infantry advancing again. There is still a priest on the field making holding still with four spots of infantry in one tiny square foot of ground. An incredibly bad idea. We will retreat, mass retreat from one grenade, which means that this next priest barrage has the potential to be absolutely devastating, should he have the, the thought occur to him to fire it. But he didn't, so whatever. Panzer Corps is up here in the north, take out a half-track, destroy this building, doing a little bit of damage to those shock troops. Jackson cruising around. Crew ready. Panzer IV still has riflemen inside and is at low health over here, I guess. 
Definitely needs to put rear echelons inside that as before instead of riflemen. So that they can get out and repair it, and so that the riflemen can go do rifleman things. Conscripts, oorah, over there. <laughs> sure, why not? That's an ability. Oorah's an ability in the game Company of Heroes 2. I will use it. These two squads of riflemen getting pinned down by an MG-34 over there. KV-8 moves up to clear the MG-34. This is just, I can't believe that he still has an army. <laughs> But he does! Maybe Sly's B key is just like, stop working or something. Cue everybody making fun of Romeo for not using grid keys. Whatever, whatever the barrage key is with grid keys. Here it comes! Freeze barrage! Firing! Oh, oh finally! <laughs> finally! That was devastating. That I think that killed a full squad of Sturms. Cleared the MG-34. He's backing into the priest barrage, which has stopped. He only fired twice, I guess. Oh, it's a creeping barrage. I guess the priest is, like, slowly rotating. Or I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know why he keeps using creeping barrage. I don't even see the point of creeping barrage, honestly. It's just a normal barrage. <laughs> in a line instead of in a circle. But you have to pay 50 munitions for it. Not that it's his fault for, like... That's actually not his fault. I, I have no idea why Creeping Barrage is a thing that exists. But it is. So, that's something, I guess. Airborne Assault being called in down here in the south. Still a Panzer IV available here, though. Push that away. Looks like the mass of Panzer IVs here in the north is about to make a big push. They're going to catch that Jackson. Yeah, not monitored, and it is destroyed. It continues to push. Oh, those those rear echelons are finally going to be freed from their prison. They're given the sweet, sweet release of death. Granted to them by that Grenadier squad. Conscripts have oorahed up to the uh, victory point. Look at that, victory point harassment to actually triple cap and bring this game to a merciful end, except for that these Panzer IVs are ruining that. <laughs> so, a slightly later merciful end, but still, nice attempt. The Kettenwerfer destroys the KV-8 right there. Blob will continue to walk towards this victory point and fail to take it under priest fire. But he can leave this game happy in the knowledge that he managed to collect over 700 fuel. Destroying the competition, nobody else even came close to that. <laughs> definitely, definitely got the highest score this round. 740 points, look at that. And the clock just stopped at <laughs> two victory points. Of course it did. Maybe the Axis wins. I Maybe I'm wrong about how this ends. I think I might be. Two victory points left, and the Axis finally decide to attack with their tanks and kill everything by box selecting a bunch of Panzer IVs and moving across the map. This Jackson is now going to die, I, I think. <laughs> Abandoned. I think I think the Axis win this. I think that's what's going to happen. Priest is about to destroy, be destroyed. Allies trying to take control of the south. There's a t Oh, he made a tiger. Look at that. See? Reynolds Cahoon. 
does know what fuel is for, and he is going to spend it, apparently. Destroying the stolen Panzer IV there, and these Panzer IVs are going to enter the Allied base and probably kill everything, since there's not, lost a fighting not really position. anything here. Enemies are swarming Axis have taken control of all territory, everywhere. I appear to have been wrong about how this game was going to end. Well, okay, look at that. I wonder if we're gonna have to wait for these victory points to tick down now. <laughs> I think we are. <laughs> Kills one of his own V4s on the ice. <laughs> Grenadiers will take control of this strategic point. Still an abandoned Jackson just hanging out right there, and it looks like uh, we're we're not even close to done. <laughs> Couple squads reinforced secure the Allied base. And these three squads are going to uh, finally be free of the evil priest bombardment. Tier 4, look at that! A tier 4 structure of fuel expenditure. Fuel expenditure going up there on that victory point. Are the allies AFK? Are they even gonna like make units? What's happening here? <laughs> Mr. Master Blaster has literally nothing. I, these, he's not even reinforcing this squad, I don't... You're also AFK, Mr. Master Blaster. Like, I'm just... Pointing out. <laughs> okay, there you go. One one unit. I don't know why Sly would have gone AFK. I guess he just thought it was in the bag. He was like, oh. The uh, the victory points are, are ticking down. We're going to win. It's over. And went to go make a sandwich. <laughs> Little did he know that sneaky last minute Panzer IV push was on the way. <laughs> Yes, nice push. Beautifully executed. The Panzer IV self-destruction at the end there was a particularly nice touch that I thought <laughs> really put the icing on the cake. These two squads are going to repair that stolen Jackson. And I guess that even though Mr. Master Blaster just called GG, he is going to not surrender. But suicide some conscripts toward this, uh, stuff. I guess he can't surrender if the other guy really is AFK, he just, so he dropped. <laughs> okay, I think, normally I don't fast forward, but like, I think if there were ever a situation in which fast forwarding is okay, this is, this is probably it. Unless you guys want me to cast the AI's attempt to win this game. Maybe the AI wins. <laughs> No, I don't think that happens because uh, it's doing this. post-game comments for this game. Honestly, this game is at such a low level that I don't have really any advice to the players other than uh, just keep playing and practicing because it's, uh, there is a lot of room for improvement here. <laughs> there is a lot. I, I really think almost every aspect of gameplay here can be improved upon. The number of squad wipes alone just in the early game. Huge. Just monstrous. So, uh...
unit preservation, I think, is is the starting point, and then uh, everything else you could possibly do better is the end point of how I don't even I'm not even forming coherent thoughts on this game, so I'm going to stop talking now. Good game, Axis wins. <laughs> I guess somehow I don't know. <laughs>